What's up everyone, it's Cars and Michael. Today we're doing a Commander Masters uh, set booster battle with some collector booster prizes. Um, basically, the way it's gonna work is we have our six battlers. Thank you guys so much for supporting this type of content. We'll each get four packs out of this 24 booster pack box and the highest mana value of the rares and mythics will get one of these packs and the lowest will get one of these packs. In the third and fourth place, or sorry, everyone else we'll get a sticker with some words of encouragement. All right, so let's go ahead and jam it. So, Commander Boosters, oh, sorry, Commander Master Set Boosters. Um, I think this is actually a decent product. I think the price point is way too high, at least the original cost basis for stores, um, being kind of at that 340 range. But I do think that uh, if this was a little bit cheaper, kind of in that, 250 spot this would actually be kind of a nuts product so very interesting to say that um wizards if you're listening please just don't be as greedy like i don't even know what the advice is but anyways i digress let's open some spice we're gonna shuffle up the packs just a little to keep things spicy and i guess fair i don't know um let me do a poor job of shuffling though and we'll divvy up the packs. Here we go. Uh, a pack for everybody on this side. A pack for everybody on this side. And then we'll do this again. All right. How much are your stores charging for each uh, set booster? I'm just curious. I'm very, very curious. All right. Phil, we'll start with you. Four packs. Let's go. Let's see what the total mana value we can obtain is oh that was nice these are made in japan which is a uh i love their cardstock but it also means that usually it's like the rarest first here we go we got that foil crash of rhino beetles into a rare training center and a vindictive lich and a gisela blade of gold knight look at that three nice little rares rattle query towers a nice little hit faithless looting um borderless aka full art Gave the cards a little sniff. <laughs> um, they smell like Japanese print stock cards, so um, nothing too crazy. They don't have that OG smell. Ooh, got a kind of a gold stamped art card here. It's nice. It's nice. Um, first rare is a Tali, Hero's Blade. Hey, and a Ruby Medallion, and a Commandeer, and a DC. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of rares, man. That's a lot of rares. I do like the non-foil um, retro lands. I think they are more desirable to me than the um, uh, foil ones from the collector pack. Something about traditional retro non-foil. Um, do have a nice little token here. I have no idea who this is. This is oh, this is a zombie. Okay, Lady of Scrolls. Oops. All right, and we have Courage in Crisis, Wayward Sword Tooth, Regal Behemoth. Isan and ooh, and an astronaut's altar. Gosh, that they're just giving away that one. And a Felwar stone. Alright. Gosh, there's a lot of rares. We're gonna have to do some math very soon. Alright, Phil. Last pack magic. Here we go. Balance of power. We'll count this as a rare. Count this as a rare. Um Actually, is this a rare? I guess we can find out. Uh, Rejuvenating Springs, that is a rare, oh my gosh, Aminato's Augury, Sakiko Mother of Summer, Cabal Patriarch, this had to have been a rare back in the day, and a Dynamo, and another Fell War Stone, I would not be surprised, oh, and a beautiful, gorgeous, um, Borderless Soul Ring, alright, quick Google check, is Balance of Power MTG a rare? And it does not look like it is a rare. It looks like it is an uncommon. Wait, no, it is a rare. It is a rare in all of the printing. So that is a rare. We'll count it as a rare. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and count. We got five plus six is 11 plus eight, 19. 22 plus six, 28, 31 plus four, 35 plus seven, 42. 44, 50, 57, 61, 61 for Phil, 
considering we are, this is the first time we've done this. I'm not sure this is a winning number, but it sure as heck feels very high. 61 for Phil. All right, next we got Paul coming in. All right, here we go, Paul. Let's say Allison, let's see how we do. Oh, we got a beautiful art card, Chainer. All right, and our first rare is Dracoseth, Maw of Flames. All right, Vault of Champions. The Scarab God, nice, lovely reprint. One of my favorite creatures in the game. Rejuvenating Springs, Borderless, that's nice. All right, Loyal Drake. <laughs> what a power. Like, this is such Drake with upside, you know? All right. Wow, four thriving lands in a row. Very interesting. All right, next pack. What do we got? What do we got? We got Haunted Cloak. Hey, ding, 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 ding. Jeweled Lotus is back. Give this baby a sleeve. Congrats on Paul for getting that Jeweled Lotus. A fiery Confluence, Godo. And... This time we got that foil. But this is the Japanese print. It just looks nice. It hits different. It hits different. Ooh, Tuscar to Captain as well. A powerhouse in the cons of Tarkir draft format. With the Outlast mechanic. All right, who is this? This is the Ur Dragon. Okay. And here we go. We got Servo into Crawling Infestation. Steel Shaper's Gift. This card has become a lot more powerful. The Big Hammer. Torrential Gear Hulk, one of my favorite creatures ever. Marin of Clan Nell Toth. Kemba, the new art. All right. Counterspell as well. All right, Paul, last pack. Did hit the Jeweled Lotus and a decent amount of lands and one mana value cards. Lifeblood Hydra. Okay. Hannah. And that might be it. Thought Vessel is a nice little value uncommon. Art card was a Bone Scythe Sliver. All right. So let's go ahead and tally it up. Assume we're going to be on the low side. We got 3, 36, 10, 16, plus 6, 22, plus 4, uh, 26, 31, 31, plus 7, 38. Paul's looking to be on the low side here. All right, 38. And next, we have Francis. Not... A stranger to the battles on this channel. What is this art? Balefire Dragon with the new art. Is this Scott M. Fisher? Yeah, this is Scott M. Fisher. That looks nice. Like, I love the way these flames, the detail of those flames. It's beautiful. All right, we got the City's Blessing token and uh, Doretti on the other side, double sided non foil. Living Lightning, this is from Jump Start. Pretty powerful card. Uh, Sower of Discord, Zantra, hopefully I pronounced that right, Kazul, Whisper, and ooh, got the Counterspell from the Jace um, Signature Spellbook, I believe. Right? I think it was reprinted somewhere else and was in the list probably, but here we go. Dwarven Hammer, Pearl Medallion, Knights of the Wheel, Stitcher, Giralf, Hamza. Oh, this plains is so Rebecca gay and so nice. All right. Francis, what else do we got for you in this next set? Booster, we got beautiful art card, Sakiko, I believe. Sakiko. Just gorgeous art. All right. Arcane Signet in foil. First time? No, not first time. Toxic Deluge, nice little hit. Joel Riel. Malik is it? Paragon and a Storm Kiln Artist. All right, last pack for Francis. We gonna get the hits or not? Padim, Console of Innovation. We got Thorn of the Black Rose, Heavenly Blade Master, Runes Guard Demon. Nice little value card, Mangar the Diplomat. That was something I thought would be a lot more valuable today, but 
I don't think it's appreciated that much. All right, yeah, four plus seven is 11, plus six, 17, 19, 22, plus five, 27, 30, 32, 35, 41. France is just in the middle already out of contention. No, let's do a double check. It's 9, 11, 14, 19, 22, 23, 29, 36, 40. Okay, that's a different number, so we'll count again. 11 plus 6, 17, 19, 22, 27, 30, 32, 38, 41. All right, Francis. I apologize. You are out of contention here. On to the next. Anthony, four packs. See how we do. Let's see how we do. What is this art? Grave packed? This is grave packed? Wow, I love the interpretation of that art there. Song of the Dryads, nice little foil to start. Chromatic Lantern, classic, one of my favorite commander cards. Emerald Medallion, super good. Razaketh, a foul blooded, an 8 CMC, and holy crap. Galta, Primal Hunker, we're at 25, 28 CMC or mana value just from that one pack alone. Anthony really wants to be a high mana value king here. Oh, what a beautiful sign card. Ancestral Blade, one of my favorite cards. Just a little plus one, plus one value card, efficient. And it makes a soldier. Oh, hey, this brings me back. Nivix Area of the Fire Mind. All right. I very much enjoyed the original Ravnica block. And we have a Deadly Relic, a nice little free spell from the Ikoria block. Star of Extinction, that's also huge mana value. Kaikar wins, Kaikar wins Fury. Got a Path to Exile there, nice little bit of value. All right, and we're down to the last two packs. Here we go. Oh, this is uh, Omnath. We opened a textured one in yesterday's video. Here we go, we got doubling season, let's go. Can't have enough of these. This is one of the better hits in the set. Psy Master Thopterus, Tygams, the DC's hand, and we're already into the uncommons. All right, last pack for Anthony. Before we do some math, do believe Anthony is quite ahead in the Mana Valley race. Here we go. Tooth and Nail, another big hitter. That is the OG art. Hellkite Charger, another big hitter. And a Safara Skies Blade. This is definitely almost guaranteed going to take the bait or take the, the big hit. We have five on the table, plus this is seven. Five plus seven is a 12, plus six, 18, 25, 28, 32, 39, plus four, 43, plus 12, 55, plus eight, 63, 65, 68, 71. That's a big number. 71 is a big number. Uh, getting the big dinosaur definitely helped. All right, Anthony, you have knocked Phil out of contention at 71. Let's see if anyone else is able to challenge you. Doug, here we go. We got our snake, the Oran Viper. And we got the fire cat into Bonder's ornament. Wow. We're pulling a lot of these in the Ikori Collectors. All right, Archfiend of Despair, Azami, Lady of Scrolls. Nice little reprint. And we are on to the commons and uncommons. Pack number two for Doug. Here we go. Got our art card. What is this? This is Endric Sar, Master Breeder. Okay. So with the new art as well. Haven't seen that card in action yet. Kindred Dominance. Ashling the Pilgrim. And uh, okay, going on to the rest. Fan Dynamo. And that full art, borderless art. In all its glory. Next pack, we got that reality shift with that neon Kamagawa vibe. I love that concept. Here we go, Azur's Predation, big mana. Sikkar, a Death Keeper. 
Sequar, Izareth, and Rorix both being downshifted. Just crazy. A lot of legendaries in this set. Not a big surprise though, given that it is Commander Masters. And we got our last pack for Doug. Come on now. This is a nice artwork. This is the guy that makes the. Uh, this is a renowned weaponsmith. He can tutor out some of the cards from that core set. All right, here we go. Champion of the Flame, Scourge of the Throne, one of the most valuable cards from Conspiracy, and it's probably now a lot less valuable um, as things go, you know, as they are, as they were. No zero costs here, and unlikely to be the high, but let's do the math. Four plus six is 10, 15 plus eight, 23, 25 plus seven, 32, 37 plus eight is 44. Five. So kind of in that middle zone, not as, like that's actually, I guess a little bit closer on the, the low side than I thought. All right, last four packs for Jeffrey. Thanks so much for the support through the years. Let's pull some spice for you. We got the Regal Behemoth. I do like this art a lot. You can see that it is Regal. Foil Commander Sphere, Angelic Field Marshal, Gilded Lotus, not the right Lotus, Cranko. Eudora, Grave Gardener, Bastion of Remembrance, Goliath, Sphinx, and a yeah, Dread Return. All right. Three more packs from this box. Not a bad box so far. Here we go. We got the Elemental Token of Haste. That's not lovely. Anax, Hardened in the Forge, Champion's Helm, Wretched Confluence, Experiment Crage. Ah, I remember this. It brings back memories. Ravnica was, was when I basically first started playing, or at least the original City of Guilds. Uh, I was in middle school at that time, unless you know my age, and uh, I wasn't very good at the game, but I had a good time. All right, this is uh, Tooth and Nail? No, Finale of Devastation, okay. Oh, wow, I remember going to the future release, uh, future site pre-release and getting one of these and having no idea how to play it. I, I did not do very well at that pre-release. All right, Finale of Devastation, speaking of which, the Heap of the Eternal... The Mata Grove Guardian, and we got our Cardos. All right, here we go. Last pack. We got a Sadisi from Cons of Tarkir as the art card, and we got Counterspell Foil, Storm Surge Kraken, Alms Collector, Lord Thos, the Tide Maker. I am not sure. Beautiful Arcane Signet. Not really sure if we're gonna get over the seventy-one. CMC hump. Here we go. We got 8 to start. 12, 17, 22, 24, plus 4, 28, plus 6, 34, 39, 42, 46, 51, 55. So more on the above average side. All right. So for our winners of the day, we got Paul on the low and Anthony on the high. Let's go ahead and open some Commander Masters collector packs for you guys. We're doing another one of these videos as a follow-up. We do have a few more slots left. If you'd like to join, just join the Facebook group. Link will be in the description. Um, yeah, I think we priced these pretty fairly. Hopefully everyone is having a good time. So uh, let's do this pack for Paul and this bottom pack for Anthony. Let's do it. Paul, your collector pack today. Made in the USA has, we got some foily boys into Mystic Confluence. Jewel Lotus number two, edge foil. Wait, there's a textured card in here too. Wait. Oh my goodness. And the textured Omnath. Oh Lee Moly. All right, well, uh, these are some big hits, gotta say. Uh, uh, well, well, congrats, Paul. I mean, that's a, it's a big hit. It's a big hit. We got the jump, double lotus, double lotus, double rainbow for Mr. Paul. Congratulations. Thank you for supporting me all this time. Anthony, you are not forgotten. Do not worry. Um, we'll open the other pack for you, hoping for the goods in here. There's still goods left. The Jeweled Lotus was in the 
uh, etch foil slot, so I, I expect some goods in the other slots. And we got Dread Return, Storm Kiln, Myriad Landscape, Jet Medallion. Hey, it's not bad. Foil Medallion. And we got an Ulamog! As well as a Dream Dating Experience is nice. But a freaking Ulamog in etched foil. So the etched foil for this box has just been Cracker Jacks. All right. Well, congratulations, my winners. Thank you, everyone, for participating. If you didn't win something, you're going to get a little sticker with a little encouraging note. So thanks so much for watching. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.